Hi and welcome to Gas and Spotlight. I'm your host Isaiah Spencer and I'm joined by Gas and College head volleyball coach Rachel Norica and volleyball player Junette Pierre. Welcome to the show guys. How are y'all doing today? Great. Thanks Great. for having us. Thank so uh, we're just going to get straight into it. So how is volleyball played and how is it coached um, as being a coach and a player? So beach volleyball at the collegiate level, um, we play in pairs, so it's two on two. Um, when we have a full team meet, you play um, five pairs. Uh, depending on how many courts uh, a facility may have, you may play all five pairs at once, or um, you may go in phases. So you might have pair one and two, and then three, four, and five, or vice versa. Um, but anyways, it's the best out of five. So whoever wins, three, four, five out of five, that's who determines the win for the meet. Okay, so um, as it being five sets, um, how long does the usual volleyball game take? Um, so again, it depends on the format. If you're doing all five teams at once or if you've got um, two waves, it usually takes between an hour and two hours because we play um, three games. So it, not only is the full meet best out of five, um, an individual match is best of three. So we play one game, two games to 21. So first and second game are to 21. If a third game is needed, it's to 15. Okay, so that says a lot about volleyball. I didn't know that all that yeah. actually. So <laughs> <clears throat> I know the college has built a new volleyball court here. It's a beach volleyball court. So mm -hmm. is it way different from playing in like an inside gym or anything like that? Completely different, wouldn't it, you say? I would say it is completely different because I used to play indoor volleyball and playing outside, it's like a different method. Like even though it still has like the same name, but we still have to do like different things to get our physics ready for that game. Okay, so as you said, you get your you get ready for the game. Mm -hmm. What does it take to is it take different things to get ready for an indoor game versus an outdoor game? Or how I does mean, that like go? you still put in like the practice and getting ready for it, but playing and stand in as indoor is completely um, different because like you're like playing with two person, not six and you have to have it in your mind that you need to get ready to um, get ready to protect the whole um, court and not depending or waiting for like five other people to do it. Okay, so <laughs> as a player, how did you manage to find volleyball and get to play it? Um, I've always loved volleyball, so I grew up um, in Haiti and I played while I was in, co in high school in my first part of college going there um, and I've always enjoyed playing volleyball for me it's like it's ingrained in me it's mm -hmm. a sport that I've, I've always loved and I love being active and always knowing that I can have fun doing something that I love and get to meet other people and all my colleagues and my teammates it's just for me it's like a family thing and that's what I love most about playing volleyball so as playing volleyball in a different country, how mm -hmm. does it compare to playing in the United States? Um, I would say it's the same thing because the game remains the same no matter where you go. Um, it's just you're playing with different people and having different um, level of communication and understanding each other, but it's still the same thing and I still enjoy it the same. Okay, so how's your experience been at Gaston College so far? Well, <laughs> my experience at Gaston College. I would say it's ha it has been a life-changing experience for me because um, before I came here at Gustin College, I was in a different college and I get transferred here and um, I get to meet different people and my whole experience of being here at Gustin College, it's been like um, amazing. And um, the student, the teacher, and I get to meet the coach who is very amazing. And it makes me like love the school even more because it's, it ha helps me understand who I am, what I want to do, and the things that I'm very passionate about. So as being a coach to these young ladies and hear her saying nice things about you, uh, how does it feel for them to look up to you as a coach? Um, honestly, it's encouraging when I know that they um, are having a good experience. Um, it's such a privilege and an honor for me to get to do what I do. And obviously, it's a, I feel a great sense of responsibility 
to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to give them a good experience and to helping them meet whatever their goals are um, and to just help them become the best version of themselves. I heard that you got back from a big competition recently, so how was that like and how did you do? Um, I'll start and then I'll let <laughs> Jeanette talk about how her experience was. Um, yeah, so we just got back from Liberty University. Uh, we played in a tournament on Sunday where we played Liberty. Um, we played um, Stevenson University and University of Lynchburg. Um, we had four nets of basically five teams. So everybody gets to play at least four games in pool play, and then everyone split off into playoffs. So everyone played five, um, a minimum of five games. They won, then they kept going in the playoffs. Um, it was incredible competition. Liberty obviously is Division I. Um, Stevenson, it was the D3 national champions last year, so obviously super solid. Um, University of Lynchburg is Division Three, so we were playing uh, established programs, um, and it was awesome competition, and I'm just so pleased. We got our first wins <coughs> in program history. Uh, we had two pairs that had wins on the day, um, and it was just a great first competition of the season, so a uh, really exciting start. Sounds really exciting. Mm -hmm. So how was it like for you? It was amazing. Um, it was amazing getting to experience playing with other teams and um, seeing how we showed up as a college and as a team and we did the best in whatever we could and we celebrated those that won that one and it was um a life i would say it helped me understand the game better and when what i need to do what i need to improve in and what we all need to work on it's just amazing yeah as a sport you just all need to work on it together mm -hmm. and uh since you being from haiti how was it like for you coming over to the u.s in general um, for me, there's a little, um, there's a background, to, there's a, a little more story to every um, thing. But for me, I grew up in an orphanage. So from nine years old till I was done with high school, I had the, I grew up in an orphanage and it was run by American who, whom I loved so much, who really saw that there is a potential that I can be someone great one day and I still believe that and hold that into my heart and they invested in me and allowing me to come to school and from there I just took on the opportunity I'm like I'm gonna make something great out of it and I'm gonna try my best to just be the person that I know that I can be. That was a very inspiring story I'll tell you that. <laughs> so you. Um, as a coach what are your hopes for this volleyball program? Um, I would say I have pretty big <laughs> hopes and expectations. Um, I would love for this program to become a championship program um, that is focused on um, developing each person into a more whole, more self-aware, more confident um, individual, but also obviously the best athletes they can become. For me, it's not just about championships, which is important and I'm probably one of the most competitive people you'll meet. Um, but I think there's more to it than that. I want, what I, what I told the team mm -hmm. in the beginning was I want them, at the end of this season, at the end of however um, long they get with this program, I want them to, when they finish, look back and say, I'm so glad I did this, and I am a better person. Mm -hmm. Uh, a better athlete because of this experience and because of this program. So that's that's my hope. Yeah, and I can speak for myself even to say that the little experience that I've had going to practice and making sure that I do the other little things that I need to do around mm -hmm. my practice, it has helped me to focus and to even enjoy my life a little more instead of just doing regular things and not have an activity in my life. And I would say that it definitely helped me. So you sound like a great coach and you sound like a great volleyball player. And I want to thank you guys for coming to the show today. That's all the time we have. Um, I'm your host, Isaiah Spencer, here with Rachel Narika and Jeanette Pierre. And thank you guys for tuning in. We will see you next time.